Hi, Lou here to say a few things about contracts for games. And again, I'm talking about tabletop games. Video games are somewhat different. One of the pitfalls you have to watch out for, and there are many pitfalls, is language about derivatives. In other words, your game is going to be published and anything that derives from that game is something that the publishers get first crack at. And you can't sell it to somebody else unless those publishers have uh, passed on it. Now, the question here is, what is a derivative? Is it a toy? Is it a story? Probably those are derivatives. But is it another game that uses the same game system? I don't think so, because that's a very common occurrence. Moreover, the way copyright law works, at least in the United States, you can, in fact, make a game where it's exactly like a game that has been published. But if you don't use the same artwork and you don't use the same wording, then it's legal. So why would a game that uses the same game system but otherwise is different not be legal? For example, what if you design a game about Spanish history? There is one called Hispania, um, long out of print, and it uses the My Britannia system, or a modification thereof, of course, not something that's exact, because that's not going to happen. Is it legal to publish that game? Yes. So it's impossible for me, as a, a designer, to license derivatives that are, in fact, other games using the same game system because legally there's nothing that can happen. Nonetheless, when I contracted with Fantasy Flight Games to publish the second edition of Britannia, even though I deliberately and clearly negotiated a contract, a, a clause in the contract to make it absolutely clear that derivatives did not include other games using the game system, I found that Fantasy Flight Games, or several people who worked for Fantasy Flight Games in high positions, were telling people that they could not publish a Britannia-like game because of contract with me. Well, it was total balderdash, because legally they didn't have a leg to stand on. And I came close to declaring them in breach of contract. I was really, really unhappy about that, because, as you can imagine, after deliberately negotiating a clause to stop that from happening, it still happened. So, you have to understand the copyright law, and you have to recognize that you can't put things into a contract that contravene the law. Thanks for listening.